everyone this is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere and today I'm going to show you how to use my new Stars and Stripes uh, seamless pattern templates for PowerPoint. So this template actually comes in three different uh, formats. It comes in PowerPoint as what you see in front of you. It also comes in Affinity Designer for those of you who like that. And that's actually also my preferred tool because you can get a little bit more um, advanced with it. And it also comes in Photoshop, uh, sorry, in, in Photoshop, which also if you have Photoshop, uh, you can do a lot more than you can with PowerPoint. But even so, I wanted to show you that with the PowerPoint option, you can still do a whole lot with it and come up with all kinds of designs for it. All right. So in my research, I have found that um, polka dot digital paper and also ombre digital paper is something that people search for quite a bit. So my uh, thinking here for this tutorial is to use the seamless pattern template to create digital paper. Why? Because it's perfectly sized for digital paper. And once you have this digital paper that's seamless, you can actually uh, use it for a lot more different things. So that's my decision. I want to create maybe a set of dotted um, digital paper and ombre design in different ombres. Now this template, uh, when you first open it in PowerPoint, it looks like there's only one design, but there's actually five or six designs in there that you can use to generate uh, unlimited designs of your own. So first thing I like to do when I'm in, in PowerPoint, especially when I'm working with um, pattern templates, since I don't need this panel, I like to um, get rid of it. I just minimize this here and get rid of it so I can make more space to see what I'm doing. The next thing I will do, and you will need to do for the, to use the PowerPoint template is actually to go to, let's see, where is that? Um, I think it's right here. No, where is it? Draw, design. Uh, view, not there. The next thing I like to do when I'm here, especially when using this PowerPoint template, and you have to, is to view all the layers. So in PowerPoint, we go to home, and I believe it is under drawing and arrange. We want to expose the selection panel, and this will give me all the layers. And as you can see here, if I show all, it will be a huge, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it makes sense at all. But as I as I disable these dots, the stars and hearts, um, the fireworks and circles, the lines, the color scheme, and I just do the stars and you'll see that that's a star pattern template, right? And if I hide that too, and I can do hide all, to do it real quickly and I want to do dots. That's what I'm aiming for. So this is my dot template, but you can see there's a whole lot of different ones, but all I'm gonna do now is just use this dotted template. I'm not even gonna touch the other templates yet because I'm just gonna make a set of very simple designs um, and generate a bunch of different digital paper with it. Um, since I know people like the polka dots, what I am probably going to do is I'm going to um, do this and that one. Okay, so I'm going to hide those and I'm just primarily going to use the dot one and three layers. And from here, I can, I need to go and expose the, let's see here, right click that's easier for me, uh, format object. And now I have the format shape option here. And 
I also like to kind of bring that out here so that I have more space here to see what I'm doing. And that way it doesn't like close on me. It's always up in front of me. And it's just the, the way I like to do things in PowerPoint. You can do it however you want. Okay, so the quickest way really um, is to do an ombre design using the gradient uh, feature. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, since I've selected these two, I'm just going to go to the fill and do gradient fill. And immediately you see it's it's already taken shape as sort of like an ombre design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this and that's my first design. So what I, I'll do here is I will go to file, which is not in the screen. You can see that and save as. And then I'm going to save it as um, blue ombre. Okay. Oops, sorry, not save as. I don't want to save as. I want to go to file, export, and I want it to be a PNG because PNG is a higher quality. And I'm just going to say maybe. Um, blue ombre okay so that's one paper already I've created and next thing I will do is I'll change different color I also know from my research that pink colored digital paper is very popular so I'm gonna select this and um, and then I'm gonna change this I'm gonna click more colors you won't see it here I'm going to click more colors that's on the bottom and I'm going to change it to maybe like that, a purplish one. And I will leave it. That kind of looks interesting. But let's go for a more, um, a stronger color here. Let's see if it's like that. Okay. Okay. I like that. So we can do that. And the other thing we can do also is we could change the angle of it. So right now it's 45 degrees. We could also change it to that if I want to 90 degrees and that will create a little bit more interest in your digital paper pack. So once again, I'm going to go file export and this is going to be PNG and this is going to be, what was that? Dark pink, blue, ombre. Okay, so that's my second piece of paper already. So quickly in just a few minutes. Now, besides doing the gradient, and you can do this all day long. You can just sit here just this, with this one design in this whole template. With just this one design, you can sit here and generate countless, a rainbow of colors. And instantly you have 20, 30, 40, 50 papers to sell just like that. Or to use in your own projects, whatever those projects may be. Okay, so what about uh, we try something different? You know, let's say we don't want to use just a gradient fill. We can also do pattern fill, although pattern fill is... Um, a little more touch and go, you know, so I will not do a pattern fill, but I will do a picture or, or texture, but I will do a picture fill and I'm going to insert a picture source. Now I have downloaded some pictures from um, Unsplash. I went there and I searched for some pictures um, and you can use those for just about anything and I've downloaded them here. So very quickly you can see uh, an example of some of these pictures. One of the ones that I did was this one. This one turned out really nice. So I'm going to click insert on that and look at that. How gorgeous is that? So I'm going to keep that and going to do export. And um, let me do um let me do that rainbow all right okay good uh next picture we're gonna try is this one and again we're gonna go download 
and I'm going to try that one. This is a gorgeous color, you know, as you see this picture here. And it's going to be a little interesting. It's not going to be as bright, but I think it'll be gorgeous. Look at that. So you have a little picture, kind of like a dotted, pixelated picture, but it, give, it generates a lot of interest in, in your paper. And you can definitely keep that. How about we try something yet more different? Okay, this is a little less... Um, interesting <laughs> but still because of the dotted design it'll come out really nice and remember in my research pink goes really well so i'm going to insert that and it looks great so i'm going to keep that too and a nice thing is that you can do a bunch of different things with with this you can also change the transparency if you want to uh, that will change how uh, the color is and you can also rotate with a shape or you can add lines really you can add lines and go with a solid line and let's see here we can do maybe a pink line and that, that will give more definition to those dots there but I want no line too and let's try yet another picture here another pattern fill let's try this one this is going to be there we go. So you can change things around. You can change even the offset from the bottom um, because the picture I think is long. So I think if you change the offset, it will use, oh no, that will not be right. So I think I've gone to the bottom of the picture now. I think, let's see here, let's move it to, I don't think, you, yep, you can go the other way. There we go. So as you can see here, it changes with the picture at the background so that's an idea all right what if we don't want fills at all what if we just play around with the lines so instead of solid fill polka dots what people are getting now is uh, circles instead of those dots so let's try that let's reselect because I clicked off of it no okay and if you want to you can certainly use all the dots here and create all kinds. See, that's another um, paper. All right. So I don't want to do the two and four, but you can do three being a different color too. So let's try maybe um, the three. I don't want any lines on the three, but I want them filled with the same color. Let's see what we can come up with. There we go. That's another paper, and that actually looks pretty good. So you can really play around, as you can see, and you can even change the gra the lines. Let's say we we want to make the lines gradient, and I you can change the thickness of the line too, if you want to make them bigger. But let's say we do we take out. Um, let's not make this too complex. Let's make this color. Um, let's do the purple. Okay. Oh, nope, sorry, let's, I had undo, I mean undo. Okay, let's go to that one because that one is the one with the lines. So we do a gradient line, we take that away, we take that away, and we want to do a more, um, let's do the purplish and the blue, and that looks pretty good. And now, uh, instead of that, I might want to change the, so that the ombre becomes clearer. Do you see now how the circles on top are different colored? We can do that. Um, and maybe now I will change it back to 45 degrees or I can change it to a radial too, All right? You see how it's it very subtle because, um, because it is circle, so you don't see it as much, but you can definitely do that. And, um, what if I change this to the actual pink that was in there? Eh, not as dramatic. Um, let's try this again. What if we we do something bold and red? Mm, it kind of disappears in it. So the blue really looks very nice. So I'm going to go back to the blueish, bluish color here, which was really pretty. Okay, and that looked good. And if I wanted to, I can add more colors in between um, 
you know, oh, I can change the position of this color. Okay, and I can do that. I can make it even bigger. So now if I move this selection pane just a little bit and I expand this so I can see actually what's going on, you see this, the lines are getting bigger and then your pattern will change a little bit to be more uh, distinct. So these are just some ideas that you can use. Uh, and again, this is just one design out of this template. You have so many of them to play with. You have this um, angled stripes. Oops, did I do that? Okay. Um, you have that. You can do the same with this, just the angle stripes, and you can change it to gradient fill like that. Uh, you can ch add your own picture fill like we did before. Um, in fact, let's try that other one that was like a, yeah, that one. That looks real nice, see? And you can do all kinds of it, and you don't have to uh, stick with just that one um, a template you can and even with the stars you can do very similar like what we did we can change it to the picture fill oh that's the background <laughs> so I'm not gonna put anything on the background um, let's just click on the stars I can do the gradient fill like we did I can do the picture fill like we did I can do a pattern fill if I want to but again that's like we said it's kind of iffy when we do that so it doesn't really come up as much so pattern fills are not um, good for this. They're good more for backgrounds. But I hope that this has given you a lot of ideas and you don't have to create digital papers. You can create so many different things. Um, once you have this design, you can add it to your journals, your planners. Uh, you can use it as backgrounds for just about anything. So again, I hope this has given you a lot of ideas. And if you want to pick it up, there's a link below in this video. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye.